Uh, hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to Forever Stranded Lost Souls. We are back here, of course. This is our friendly gas that we did last episode. We just pop the gas down here because we've missed. We've missed this delightful noise that we uh, we get when we log in. At least I thought it was funny. People seem to like it. I don't know if any of my fellow cobblenauts have found it yet. Um, but we'll see. I'm, I'm looking forward to them logging on and, and finding it. So anyway, we are, of course, here on the Cobblenauts server. What are we doing today? Well, I thought we'd have a look around um, the overworld because I don't really know what is in the overworld. I have no idea. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I found, I've seen some really quite random things so far um, around. So I thought we'd do a little bit of exploration because I don't really know what's in the pack. I know this this is a lot of abyssal craft. So if we go over here, let's let's start. We've, we started exploring. Look, you, you can you can see there's a lot of a lot of these temple-y things. I don't know what they do. Look, a Shub Niggurath statue. Now I think abyssal craft is very based on the um, the Cthulhu mythos. Um, so a lot of HP Lovecraft type things, I believe. And the small structures over here. So that, I mean, these are quite nice little structures. I quite like them actually. Um, I like the bit dark stone. Yeah, dark stone looks pretty nice. And this is this is bigger. Ooh, and is this does this? Uh, no, that's just not go anywhere. No, that's just that's just that monolith stone. Well, okay, okay. Well, fair enough. So I don't know what a lot of these things do. I know there's a whole abyssal quest line. And I think it goes into a different dimension, but we won't be doing any of that today. But I thought, yeah, let's have a look around and see if we can find anything interesting. So not even 10 seconds after the last clip, I found this. I don't know what this is. Staircase downwards. Oh, 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 is that? I'm guessing this is bad. What are you? What are you? Uh, lesser Shogoth. Are you attacking me? I can't really tell if they are attacking me. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, there's a bigger one here. What's this then? Shogoth biomass. I... I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> what... It, what does it even say? What? Um, oh, it is abyssal craft as well. I mean, these look like they are attacking me, don't they? But with my with my crazy armor, I don't think anything can really harm me. I don't even have to eat anymore. I've realized if you look at my saturation bar, it's just always on full saturation, which is pretty amazing. How many hit points have you got? Five hundred and eighty-four. That'd take a while, wouldn't it? So. Oh no, this keeps spawning, does it? Monolith stone. I can't really see in here. Can we can we pick any of this up? We can. I don't didn't look like we got any of it. Oh wow, this is oh, more irritating than anything with so many of them there. So I don't know <laughs> look at them all. I don't know what we can do with that. No idea. So I just found a village in the Darklands, which is the Abyssal Craft uh, biome, and look, it's it's changed some of these and um, this house here into the Abyssal uh, <laughs> textures, which is pretty cool actually. That looks quite quite interesting. I think it's just. I mean, look at this house. Look at it. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. It looks it looks odd. It looks odd, but um, but sort of cool actually. Um, there's a waystone over here somewhere. I just saw one. This is all of the yeah terraqueous. Um, where is this waystone? I'm I I just saw it. I just saw one somewhere. Ah, is it in here? Let's activate it. I don't really know. There we go. Draclotron. Okay more Darklands wood. So, I mean, it's a pretty standard village otherwise. Nothing too exciting about it. There's 
storage crates, which are quite nice. But um, other than that, it's a pretty standard Minecrafty village. So I'm in a cold desert, which actually is pretty a pretty cool biome. Um, if we go over here, you can see some crazy mountains. Look at that. It doesn't really look deserty. It looks, I mean, I suppose, have they gone for, because this is all gravel, it looks like a, a dried up, ooh, polar bears. Look at this, polar bears in modded. Yeah, and you're just leaving me alone, cool. Um, yeah, I've. it looks like a dried up ocean, maybe? Is that anything? Is this anything here? It doesn't look like it. No, no, it's not. So, I... We found this over here, uh, one of these astral sorcer sorcer sorcery. Man, I can't speak, and <laughs> this is lagging. I can't do anything with these blocks because I don't have twenty-eight magic at the moment. Um, oh, ah, has it been found already? Ah, it must have. Look at this. Yeah, I'm guessing it has been found. I think we need this to start off with to start doing astral sorcery. Perhaps, so it, perhaps Nemson has found this, because I know he's done a bit of exploring as well. But yeah, Astral Sorcery is a go-go, at least. Um, that is something. I, that is something. I've just come across the loneliest tree probably on the server. Look at it. <laughs> on, on the tallest spike um, on top of a mountain, just, just sat there. Just it just it blossomed all by itself in quite a harsh environment. This is a beach. That's funny. That's a beach. Oh, what's this down here? Is that anything exciting? What's that? Bluestone. Never heard of it. What is it? Can we do anything with that? Uses of bluestone doesn't <laughs> smooth bluestone. Great and wall. So nothing, nothing exciting there. Fair enough. Um, but yeah. There you go, look at that. That'd be, I don't know, it's it's quite a nice, it's quite a nice sight. There are loads of Darklands biomes on this seed. I don't know why or how or anything like that, but there are a lot of Darklands biomes. I think Abyssalcraft is clearly something that we should be doing at some stage because, yeah, it's just, it's everywhere, everywhere, every other biome is a Darklands biome, so we should probably be looking into into Abyssal Craft. I don't even know much about it. Can we eat Ab Abyssal? Is it like that? Is there even a book? Is there, is there a guidebook? Is this a thing? Um, it's got some cool little structurey things I, I, that apparently I can't make. Okay, fine. Um, Necrom... No... Ah, okay. Oh, look at that. It's 5,000 PE. No idea what that is. Abyssal Wasteland. Oh, wow. Skin of the Abyssal Wasteland. Wow, okay. Um, oh, wow, there's, there's a lot of stuff, actually. I don't know what any of this does. <laughs> Corallium. Okay, transmutation... Anti-plagued flesh. What? Wow. So maybe we should get the Necronomicon? Yeah. The Necronomicon. Um, oh, cool. Dredium. That's, uh, that's some nice samurai armor. Dredium. What is Dredium? Dredium dust, of course. Which we get from... Oh, it's one of these little recursive things again. How do we... Uh, Dredium Dust and Health... Okay, great. You get Dredium Dust from Dredium Ingots. You get Dredium Ingots from Smelting Dredium Dust. Oh, no, Crystallized Dredium. Okay, that's a little bit different there. Oh, <laughs> so I have no idea. I have no idea. No idea how this works. We might have to make ourselves a um, Necronomicon and see see if that does anything. That might be maybe our next move, honestly. Um, it is night time, and this is here. What are you? A trollager. Okay, you're quite, you're quite crazy. Look at that. Oh, wow. 
Um, I wonder if this is an actual <laughs> throwing blocks at me or sand though. That's like the worst block to throw at me. I wonder if this is an actual villager. Let's see. Can we? Can we? Can we kill it and see what happens? Let's let's see. Let's see what it does. <laughs> it's weird. How how much? Forty one. Okay, we're not we're not doing too bad. A few more. There we go. You dropped what obsidian? That's quite an odd one. That's not that exciting. Um, I thought I don't know for all of that he just dropped some obsidian. Fair enough. Um, look at this cheeky creeper. He's thrown TNT. That is amazing. <laughs> look at it. I'm. I don't. Is that a primal core thing? Primitive mobs. A festive creeper. Wow. Does it actually hurt these guys? I have no idea. Oh, where, where have you gone? Where's the festive creeper gone? Has it been... Oh, it's gone. It has gone. That's a shame. <laughs> that is funny, though. Okay, let's see what this does. We're going to make one of these. Uh, I don't know what the P is. I don't know. Ah, what is this book? This is the Necronomicon, a book written by Abdul Alazred, also known as the Mad Arab. The book contains knowledge about the Great Old Ones, their names, and how to summon them. There's also information about spells and rituals the book can perform. Self is a chapter of... Hang on, was that... I, I thought I saw, like, a creeper out of my eye then. Oh, it was one of these. I think... Are these from Roots? No. A Grove Sprite. Oh, okay, from Primitive Mobs. That looks quite cute. Um, Let's read it up here. Um, oh wow, ooh, 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 stuff has, stuff has gone weird. Can we, there we go. It's an, a chapter of the Abyssal Nomicon, <laughs> of course, which was read to Al, um, Al Hazred by a demon known as, what, J Jazar? J, 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 <laughs> Zahar? I don't know how to say that. Who had composed the Abyssal Nomicon from infinite knowledge known to the Great Old Ones, of course. Four types of Necronomicons within the Abyssal Nomicon. Right, okay, stuff. In order to unlock the knowledge, one must travel to said dimension. Ah, oh, okay. Right. Right. To said dimension and empower the Necronomicon with the flesh of that world. Okay. Oh, this is all a bit crazy. Forbidden knowledge, abyssal crap. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, right, abyssal craft is a mod in which this book is used to guide you through. It's mainly focused on exploration with four new dimensions you can explore. That's pretty. That's a lot. Dimensions are reached through the use of gateway keys. Okay, yeah, we can see those there, which are uh, which are keys designed to create portals between dimensions. The fourth dimension is reached by falling out of the third. Of course it is. Of course it is. The overworld has been expanded with six new biomes. Oh, interesting. Darklands, normal plains for... Ah, okay, right. And the Corallium infested swamp. Interesting. I've not seen the swamp. There's also five new types of stone and 50 new ores. Wow. Found throughout the overworld and the dimensions. Apart from exploring a bustlecraft in Deduces its own type of magic through the use of rituals in order to worship the great old ones. Interesting. Magic and exploration, also machines. So yeah, we've seen we've seen some of those machines, but okay, well uh is that how do I get back? <laughs> how do I get back out oh, there like that? The outer gods, the great gods, Azazoth, yeah, so that is Azazoth is definitely uh, Lovecraftian. I know much, I know that much. Um Yeah, but how do I what how do I how do I find the overworld? Material Ah Progression. In order to reach the abyssal wasteland, one much cra must craft a gateway key, which re requires one to travel to <laughs> the nether <laughs> uh, and visit a darklands and water based biome. What? 
The water-based biome can either be a swamp or an ocean biome. From the nether you need two blaze rods and probably a few more for later. From the darklands biome you need to slay living shadows. What? To finally obtain shadow gems. These are most, they are most commonly found in darklands mountains biomes. A staff of rending in, what is, I don't know what any of this is. Um, right, that is, that's a lot of stuff. And I don't know if we're prepared to do any of this stuff. I might have to read up a lot more. This is huge. Entities, oh, entities, I can't even read any of that. Progression, I, I've had a look at. Special materials, okay, that's something. Special armor and tools. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot in this. Okay, so this little statue here is given this Necronomicon. Uh, you can see it there it is. It's, uh, it's given it PE, which is, I think, potential energy. It does like five, or, oh, that was 10, I think, at a time, which is interesting. So uh, there you go. So there's a way of, of doing stuff. So I've had a look at the gateway key. We need a transmutation gem. Let's actually have a look in JEI gateway key. So blaze rods, it's all fine. Corallium pearl, which you just saw there. Um, we need, well, something like that. So we need some corallium, which you can get apparently in ocean biomes. So that might not be too bad. And then this is the thing, oblivion catalyst, which either you can find um, 0.2% chance, or you make it in a ritual, but that needs 5,000 PE sacrifice required, which is interesting. And you need shards of oblivion, which you need transmutation gems for. So we need four of those, and then shadow gems. I don't know, I'll make, look, with shadow shogoth, or shogoth flesh, which is those big creatures. But I don't know how to make that. Crystallizer, see dreadstone bricks, which is the whole thing of like, I don't know how to do any of this. So, yeah, block of dreadium, mm, transmutation, tr wood. <laughs> I don't know. Block of, yeah, see, I do, how do you get dreadium? I have no idea. So, it's interesting. This is a very convoluted mod, it seems. Um, Ah, look at that, Sh stuff of rending, it did say, ah, okay, look, different, different energies from all the different, um, all the different uh, dimensions, it's got on there, but I still don't understand quite how to do this. Let's have a look in, um, in a, under the ocean, just maybe to try and find some of this corallium, that would be nice. Okay, so I've been busy collecting flowers because this is obviously very slow. I've only got 330 and I had a look and if you get some monolith stone, which you can get from round the edges of these and I, uh, I looted those little structures there, it looks like we can maybe make some of our own. That's still, that's still getting me. Every time I come back here, um, the ghast it, it freaks me out. Um, so, if we look at the uses for this, uh, and then you go on here, look, you can be some a of stone and then some of the dye and some clay. Like, it says this block is purely for decoration and won't do anything, but it looks like it might. So, let's let's make this and, and see. See if it does anything. I mean, it doesn't look like it's doing anything right now. Maybe it has to be on one of those monolith plinths. Um, stone pillar, so maybe? Maybe? Um, I don't have that much of this. Let's see. Let's see. If we put you on there, is, is this a thing? Abyssal craft looks really cool, but it seems to be very hard for me to understand what is going on. That doesn't look like it's doing anything. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to try is moving that to this little platformy thing in here. <laughs> so yeah, monolith stone pillar, and there's one, there's one thing over here which looks fairly cool. I mean, this looks like it should do something, shouldn't it? Like it really does. 
Maybe it needs to be in its own thing. I mean, to be fair, it does say that... Um, do I have to maybe hold it as well? I mean, nothing's happening. <laughs> nothing's happening, but it looks like... It, I feel. I feel like it should. I thought something was happening then, but it's just a little bit of flickering. So, I have no idea how this works. I have no idea what whatsoever how to do this. The only last thing I can think to do is if we come here. Uh, uh, let me get down. Let me get down. Right. Oh, wow. Uh, let's just, just do that and get some of these dies out here. Um, all of this can go in here. Abyssal craft stuff. Right. That is better. So... If we take you down and put you up, does that do anything now? It doesn't look like it, does it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. What about if we put you down? Does this still do something? Are you still giving me stuff? Or is this now not working because I've moved you? Oh no, okay, so you still do something, but you, yeah, it, I mean, it does say decorative, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think this is going to be it for today. It's been a bit of an odd little episode, uh, which I apologise for. I didn't really mean to get sucked into Abyssal Craft, but I, I sort of want to get into it, actually. If I can figure out how to do anything, because all of the recipes just seem to be a loop where I don't understand what's happening. So I'll I'll have a look into it. I mean, I have been, whilst recording this, getting trying to get into it, but it seems quite... There's a lot of stuff, and it's not that well documented. So we're going we're gonna to try. We're going to try. Hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching. And, um, yeah, maybe next episode we'll do a little bit more Abyssal Craft, perhaps. If I can find anything about it. If you've got any thoughts yourselves on how to do it, maybe you've seen a guide for it, that's really good, then please hook me up, that would be lovely. But thank you so much for watching, if you did enjoy it, a like or comment is very much appreciated, and of course, make sure to subscribe, keep up to date with the channel, the series, and all that other good stuff. I've been Actor, this has been Forever Stranded Lost Souls, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!